I'm here with Jose today. We are replacing the sensor on our EZH2O LK bottle filling station. Uh, the sensor got hot, seemed to have been fried somehow and stopped working. So um, we have unplugged the unit and now we've got our new part, which we got from restroomdirect.com and it's the 98544C. And this is the new sensor that comes uh, for these bottle filling stations. These are the the standard bottle filling stations, this one is the LZS8 WSLK, or you could call it the LZS8 WSSK. Um, and uh, this is not the enhanced version. The enhanced version um, would come with a different replacement, and that replacement number would be one and then five zeros, two, four, three, four for that sensor. But uh, that's not the one that we're using today. Um, Okay, so to replace this sensor, we first have to take the shroud off the bottom. And to do that, uh, there are, I think it's four screws, right? Four screws. Four screws on the bottom. They are flathead screws. And just take those off, and then you can pop this bottom shroud right off. And then as soon as that comes off, very important, the next thing you're going to do, of course, is unplug the unit. The plug is down here, okay? And so you can pull that plug out. Okay, and now it's safe to work on. Uh, the next step from here is gonna be to take the top cover off of the bottle filling station. That cover has uh, two Allen wrench bolts. So you need your Allen wrench, take those off, and then that cover is going to um, just pop right out like that. Okay, and then once you've got that done, now you're gonna slide the bottle filling station forward and then you can kind of jimmy it up a little bit. It's sitting on this rubber pad here. Be careful uh, that you don't scratch the unit. And also be careful, there are a lot of sharp uh, parts. The, the sheet metal on this is, is sharp in a lot of places. So be careful that you might want to wear gloves. Okay, so here's our sensor um, right here. That's the culprit that needs to be fixed. Um, and in fact, we, we just replaced this. So we're just, we're just gonna kind of do it again. Um, why don't we start up here? The, the first thing you can see, you've got the wires coming through that little uh, plastic holder. So the first thing is we've got to take the wires out of the holder. Um, so actually that's, so that's the cover. So, there's so all you have to do there. is just kind of push down on it and pull back and it'll come right out. And, just... and that enables you to get that metal cover off. Otherwise you won't be able to get the metal cover off. That metal cover has two um, nuts that go on the bolts that are sticking out of the unit, one there and one over on this side. And so once you get those, unscrew those nuts, did you need a tool to, to do that? You need a socket wrench, it's a 3 8 socket wrench to pop those two nuts out. Okay. And that'll get the job done. Perfect. Okay, and then that comes right off. And then go ahead and show them the... Uh, this is the one that we wanna, we have this four pin that goes right down to the sensor and there's also a five pin. This is the one that we do not want to touch this one right here. It's the four pin. So I take the four pin and we'll just pop it out. Just pull it right off. That comes off great. Okay, and then the next thing is uh, just taking the sensor itself off, the little circuit board and sensor here. Um, and pay attention, we'll take it off and then put it back on, but take, pay attention to the order, of course. So you've got the screw on the top and then a little uh, metal washer and then the plastic washer, look how that plastic washer is, the wide end goes up and the, and the narrow end goes down, okay? And then you can pop the sensor out. Notice it's in those, uh, those little sleeves there, it's got to fit in just in that way with the wires coming off um, to that side. And then you can see there's there's two washers underneath there and under those washers are holding the, uh, the lens down for the sensor. So you can take those, actually you can leave those washers in, can't you? you leave them you in, right? Leave them in. Now the kit comes with new washers, new lens. So if it's scratched or something, you can replace those, but otherwise you don't have to. So now assuming we just took this out and, uh, and threw this part of it away, and then we get our, our new sensor out of the kit. This one's new, so we're not, you're not gonna see us replace it now because this one already is a good one, okay? Um, and now 
just put this part with the pins back into it. What do you call that? The four pin connector. Four pin connector, thank you. It pops right in. Okay. Slide this cover back over, circuit board. Put your two nuts back on. And of course the wires can go back in that in that little plastic holder there. I'll just re rod all this back in here in this plastic clip. Push down on it and it'll lock it. Great. Now we'll just line up the sensor. And with again, these make slots. sure you've got the lens first, then the two plastic washers. Digging in his pockets for the other parts. And that goes the other way, actually. Yeah, it goes like that. Good, I'm glad I could do something useful. And then the, uh, the metal washer next, and then the screw. Digging into his pockets again. He's got them down there somewhere. On, where are you? We're going to find them. Here you are. Make sure you get that washer in there. That pushes down on that plastic clip against the lens. Great. And so we're... All done here. We're gonna to have to tighten that up, but let's not let's not do that right now. Well, you have to tighten those bolts or put those bolts back on there or nuts that is, and then this will just slide right onto the metal. I mean, excuse me, the plastic piece down here, and then the whole thing just slides in. You might have to pry a little bit just to open it up a little bit to slide it over, and it should pop in. Great. Push down on it a little bit. There, there you go. go. Okay. All right. Great. And then we'll put the top back on. So that metal side was facing, was on our side, right? Yep. That little metal clip goes towards the person. Perfect. Okay. And then we'll plug it back in. We'll put the bottom shroud back on and uh, we'll have nice cool water once again. Thank you very much, Jose. Have a great day, everyone. Good luck.